All right, so today we're gonna shoot a Glock 23. Can you guys hear me? Mm -hmm. Seven refrigerators full of stuff. We're gonna see how many um, refrigerators it takes to stop at 40. Uh, all right, let's see what happens. You gotta have a Glock logo. Alright guys, it's getting really hot and I gotta switch out my uh, t-shirt. What do you guys think? Will that do? I think so. What's up guys? Alright, so today I'm gonna go ahead and use a Glock 23. This is a 40 caliber round, 180 grains, full metal jacket. And what you see behind me is uh, seven refrigerators. Um, we have previously shot uh, refrigerators with a Glock uh, 19, was a nine millimeter. It only made it uh, to like, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, through four of them or so. Uh, these don't have any holes on them. These are different refrigerators. And uh, we filled them up with a whole bunch of uh, ketchup, mustard, Powerade, and orange uh, colorful uh, drinks, just to see what kind of results we get uh, upon impact. I am going to empty out about 10 rounds in there. Uh, it's not going to be a single shot like the other stuff. Uh, just to see what kind of results we get, I'm going to shoot at different areas. All right, let's get to it. All right. Why did it splash all over me? It wasn't supposed to... Oh, is that mustard? <laughs> oh, this sucks. Ugh. Oh, smells gross. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> so let's see what happened here. Oh, boy. That was some damage. As you can see, these are some of our damages here. <laughs> uh, we pretty much uh, got all the beer out of here. <sighs> some of this stuff is on the bottom. There's our ketchup right over there. We hit part of this. Anyway, so it pretty much went through the second one, no problem. Third refrigerator, cleaned out either side. These are the results exiting. Uh, this is the third refrigerator, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We had only one exit out of the fourth one. Entry, entry on the fifth one. It entered inside the refrigerator, went out and entered the sixth one and the sixth one it stopped the tenth one uh looked like it had no obstacles in the way so it made it the farthest uh the first uh second third and fourth uh, bullet i'm pretty sure it started hitting random stuff the bottles and the liquid and it just slowed it down so it didn't allow it to penetrate through more seems like the the last ones that made it through those are the ones that had a clear route and everything was out of the way already so they made it all the way to the fifth and the sixth one. Most of them kind of stopped at the uh, fourth one. What I'm going to finish it off with, just a curiosity, I'm going to bring the shotgun out and shoot it with a, a slug. Uh, I'm going to put a couple rounds in all of them and see uh, how many will it take to stop it with the shotgun. So I'm going to go ahead and try these 
Winchester's PDX1s and this is out of a 12 gauge shotgun and this is how they look like. We are clear. So as you can see the first refrigerator, it's done though. So these are the difference, different hole sizes. This is what the slug and the pellets did all together. It was a combination of both. That was the entry, you can tell the difference. All right, so those are the exits out of the first refrigerator. Second refrigerator went in. Came out of the second refrigerator. The third one came out of the third one. Went inside the fourth one. So the conclusion is it went through only four refrigerator. I managed to find them on the ground. So only two. It made it through the third went through the fourth one of them came out falling on the ground and the other one uh, went out of the fourth one it uh, it hit the fifth one but it bounced back I don't know which one of these it was but one of them bounced back a lot of you guys wanted to know what these uh, trees were behind me these are walnuts and they're almost there can you guys see them we have almonds on the other side too we'll go on that side one day anyway I hope you guys enjoyed today's video Please go ahead and subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and leave in comments what you guys thought of today's results. And as usual, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.